So yeah, I've been using the Moultrie Mobile cellular trail cameras for a year, all last year with my two original. And I just recently purchased the third because I like them that much. Just me personally, my personal opinion that I like these cameras. You may own some other cellular trail camera out there. There's all kinds of other brands, makes and models of brands out there that are just as equally as good. But this is one of the hot ticket items of the last couple of years when these came out people were scoffing right up. I mean, they're very affordable. They're about a hundred dollar cellular trail camera. You can't go wrong there. I'm sure you're wondering how easy it is to set these up, to get these up and running and start taking photos and video. They're super simple. The Moultrie Mobile Edge cellular trail camera is actually very easy to set up. You can put eight batteries in. They'll run off just eight AA batteries or as much as 16. So you'll never have to change batteries all season. So the, actually there's, so I stand corrected. There's four selling points for me on these Moultrie Edge cellular trail cameras. It's that they they don't require SD cards. They don't require any major, major cellular data plan. They just automatically connect to the closest cell towers near you to connect, start taking data. And they're very affordable. The, the data plans, whether you choose pro or unlimited or standard, very affordable. There's no contracts. You can cancel any time. You only got to pay to use these for the months that you want, whether it's four months, five months, six months. You can cancel at any time. And they actually don't require battery changing at all through the whole season. They'll run all season long. They'll go six to eight months and even beyond. I think I had last year's up for close to eight months or something. I think so on 16 batteries yes they take they can take 16 AA batteries but they'll only run on eight at a time so when those first eight are spent they'll automatically go on to using the other eight so you can you choose to just put eight AA batteries in or or 16 and not have to worry about changing batteries the whole season you use your multi edge trail cameras so those are the selling points for me on these and they're extremely easy to set up you just you put pop your batteries in and then turn on and, and then you're going to have to it says right on the box what you need for an app and the instructions in the box require that you download the Moultrie Edge Trail Camera cellular trail camera app on your phone and open up that app and it's going to instruct you to insert batteries and to turn it on and once the batteries are in and you just turn the switch to on you just stand by and wait for it to connect and it's going to be flashing. You'll see the yellow blinking light flashing and you'll see the green bars on the little battery icon up here in the, the right corner here, right here where my thumb is. And that, that battery icon lets you know that it's got full charge, that your batteries are good. So, and then you'll see that highlight green, that little battery icon. And then the yellow light will be blinking or flashing, however you want to say it. So that flashing yellow light will keep going until she connects to the closest cell towers near you. And then it will go green. The second light down will go highlight green. Then you'll know you're connected. And then once she's connected, then push the test button below that little battery icon. You push the test button and hold for 20 to 30 seconds. I think it's like just 20 seconds. Keep holding until the battery lights go out. So that those green bars on that battery icon will disappear as you're holding that test button. Then release the button after that. And it's going to take a test picture. It's going to be taking test pictures of you. And then you can just go and refresh your app on your phone and you'll see the photo. So that's how you can test her to see that she is working and taking pictures to give you that confirmation that she will work. And then it's going to automatically go back to connect into the closest tower cell towers near you and start working and taking pictures and you can keep you can take as many test photos as you we'd like to make sure she works good so you just that's all you've got to do as simple as that insert your batteries turn the switch to on the yellow light's going to go to flashing you'll see the green bars on the battery icon go to full if your batteries are good and you got full charge uh and that flashing yellow light will disappear and it will the light below will highlight green when she's connected to the closest network near you. And then go ahead and hold, press and hold that test button 
for approximately 20 seconds and the green bars will disappear then release and make some movement or something move your head around and it's going to take a test picture of you and then go to your app on your phone refresh it and you'll see your test images and that that way you'll get confirmation knowing that she works takes photos and then she's going to automatically go back to connect into that network and start recording data and you can you what you do is you go in your app on your phone to make to set your camera up how you want it whether you want it to take photos every 30 seconds 15 seconds every minute two minutes three minutes however long you want it to uh, wait to take the next photo i've got them right now the ones i've set out i've set to one minute because they're in really high deer trafficking areas the deer hang out there and eat they're like on food plots so yeah so like if you put your cameras on a food plot it's a good idea to probably have a longer wait duration in between photos because you're going to get hundreds of pictures in a food plot so maybe set it to one minute a photo every one minute it might even be good on a food plot to wait set it to take a photo every couple minutes and also you can set other settings on there like uh you can, on the app, you can manipulate it as to whether or not you want the camera to take HD video or just still photos or both. I always choose both. You can, um, what you can do is go through all your photos on your app. And if it's a really good photo and you want, to, want it to be a video, then you can request it to be turned into an HD video with sound. So that, that's what's really cool about that. You, you, so it actually is recording still photos and video all at the same time. So by choosing that mode on your app for it to take video and photo, still photo, you can just go scrolling through all your photos, delete all the bad ones, save the good. And then those good ones you can turn into videos. You just click on it. You choose the setting in the app for it to be turned into HD video. And then the app refreshes itself and it a little... A little bit later that video comes through saves in your cloud on in, in your on your app and then you got yourself a video and a still photo of that big buck so there's all kinds of other really cool features obviously you can get maps bring up your maps and with the app and uh and you can put pins on the map show them where your stands are where all your cameras are and all that stuff so there's some really cool features on the app that you just got to keep just go through, scrolling through, checking it out. It has species recognition. The, it will, in the app, you'll be able to tell if it was deer it took photos of, or bear, or turkey, or uh, some other critter, or human. So it's got species recognition, which is really cool. And there's just some other really cool features to the app and to this camera that are really cool that you just gotta check out. So go ahead and buy yourself one, and just start with one, test it out, check out the app, see what all the cool features are and just go from there so yeah super simple setup easy to use it takes great 33 megapixel photos very crisp clear and great video with audio and all that cool stuff so yeah has some great great features it's been a good camera for me uh, i plan on buying a fourth one that's just how much i like these cellular edge trail cameras Hey, how are you all doing? Uh, Justin here with Spikes and Gills. I bought my third Moultrie Edge cellular trail camera. And there's three really important features that were selling points for me when purchasing these Moultrie Edges. It's my second year using Moultrie Edge trail, cellular trail cameras. I've got my two original that I got last year, and then this is the third I just purchased. And those three really cool selling points for me were no SD cards required. That's awesome. They automatically upload to the internal storage and cloud, the cloud on your app on your phone and no and no cell plan required it doesn't matter what cell phone plan you have the these cameras automatically will connect to the closest cell towers near you to get signal and start taking pictures and video and collecting that data that you want on your app and that third really cool selling point for me is that's very affordable the camera was only about 100 bucks 104 dollars 45 cents with tax included and all and also the the data plan that you choose, whether you choose pro or unlimited or standard, I just choose a standard. It's very for about $8.99 to $10 a month per camera. So I've got three, so $30 a month. And I only have to pay that $30 for the next four months. So that's 30, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120. I might pay 120 to 
20, 30, 40, 50, 150, 60 dollars or whatever. So I'll probably keep these cameras out for the next five months, maybe. Starting now to the next. And you only have to pay for those months that you choose to use your Moultrie Edge Trail cameras. There's no contract, strings attached whatsoever. You can cancel at any time. Only pay for those months you run them. So it's very, very affordable. You just choose what you want to pay each year for your Moultrie Edge cell trail cameras. And you could pay annually. You could pay the full amount for the whole year or just pay monthly. And so, yeah, those are those three selling points for me on these Moultrie Edges. And I love, love these cameras. They take great video and they include audio too. They're recording the sound and the critter going by and take great, I mean, 33 megapixel images. Really crisp, clear, awesome pictures, professional pictures. Real, well, I wouldn't say professional, but yeah, they take great 33 megapixel pictures and video and record sound and all that good stuff. So go get you one, the Moultrie Edge Cellular Trail Camera. Great camera.